What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Swamp Fire from Ben 10. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page with the top edge of the eyes. We're gonna leave a small gap in the center. Let's start over on the left. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then we'll bend that out toward the left. Let's line up the bottom over on the right side and do the same thing going up and out towards the right. Let's go back over towards the left side. I'm gonna draw the bottom of the eye. We're gonna come down, round up the eye, and then bend that back in. Let's trace the eyes along the inside. On the inside point, we're gonna start with that top curve, going up and then out. And then draw on the bottom, coming down and in. Let's fill the inside of the eyes in black. Let's move to the center, step down, and add a curve for the mouth going out and down to the left. Go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. And close off the bottom with a curve going up the middle and then back down. Let's add that spike in the center of the head. We'll start right in the middle, in between the eyes. Start with a point. And we'll curve the left side. We'll go all the way out, round up the side, go up and then in towards the top. And we'll do the same thing on the right. It's gonna mirror this across round this out, and then come back in toward that middle. Now from here, we're going to add that detail on the side of the head. Let's start underneath the left eye. I'm just going to trace that curve, going out, and then bend that up towards the top. Let's line this up on the right. Going out around the eye, and then up towards the same height. Let's add a point along the bottom, going out and then up with a short line. And I want to pull this down and then in towards the chin down and bend that in towards the middle, go out and then up. Let's draw on the outside from the tip. I'm just going to tip this down, bend that in towards the side, add another point, go out and then up. Now I want to work my way around the jaw, come down and just pull that in towards the chin. Now we're gonna close off the top of the head, starting from the side, and go around the tip of the eye, and then bend that back in. Let's line this up over on the right. Going around the eye, and then down. Let's add one more spike layered in behind the head, starting from these two points. Go out, then up. It's gonna go around, and then just pull that down on top of the head. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw in the collar. We'll start from the side of the chin, come down and in towards the middle, go out and back up. From that center point, let's step down and draw a circle. And we'll trace that circle along the inside, in a small frame. Along the side, I'm just gonna add a point coming in and out and it will fill in the sides. Now to move out to the side and curve the body coming in and then down toward the hip. Start with the left side, coming in and then down. Line it up on the right. Let's add a trim, starting back at the top, coming in towards the circle and then back out towards the hip. Let's move to the center, step down and add a curve, going up down. Now leave a small gap in between the legs, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and then down toward the left heel, go to the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting on the left, curve down and then up. Now we're going to go back up to the hips, draw a curve going out and then down toward the thigh. Go back to the left side, we're gonna go all the way out and then bend that down toward the outside of the foot. Let's separate the toes. From the heel, we're gonna step out and go up and then bend that back down. Let's 
leave a small gap and do that again. Then go up and bend that down just on the inside. Now from the top of the body, we're going to step down, curve the arm. We're going to go out and then bend that down towards the wrist. From the wrist, add a small half circle from the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now, from the bottom of the thumb, we're going to add the first finger. We're going to come down and bend that up around that bracket. Step down towards the side. Put the second finger. And then the third finger, we're going to go out, bend that up, and then in. Now, from the elbow, we're just going to bend the arm going up and then in towards the shoulder, to right about there. Add a socket with a small half circle. And I want to continue that curve going up and then in underneath the head. Let's add a spike inside that socket. From that top point, this out and then up, keeping that down toward the bottom. Let's add another spike in behind the shoulder, going up and then back in. We'll add another one along the side, along the bottom. Now we're going to add a series of smaller spikes along the outside of the forearm. We'll start underneath the elbow, go out and then in, and add two more coming down toward the outside of the hand. Let's add a spike inside the forearm, going up and back down. And then going back up, we're going to add another seam across the shoulders. We're going to step up in the collar, come down and in, and it's out and then up. Let's fill the inside of the trims in black. in between the toes. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Swamp Fire from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want to check out our other channels, I'll leave the link in the description below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.